Well, I told the team, you know, obviously I have to watch the tape and, and look and see what everything, everything that happened. But I thought it was a very crisp first half. A lot of good things in the first half. Again, there's things that clean up. Um, but the first half, I thought, I thought we, we looked pretty sharp there. And then the second half, right, just got sloppy. Um, and that was my message to the team. And again, you got to go back and look at the tape. But again, it felt like crisp first half, sloppy second half. Yeah, I, th I thought he handled it well. He had, he made a really good check and a, a great throw to Dallas for a big play. Um, he saw what defense was coming and he and he and he checked the play. A, a ton of credit to to him for that and making a, a perfect throw there. Um, I thought I thought he really he went with where we wanted the ball to go. You know, went, versus the defenses they were they were going. He had a couple drops in there, um, so I, I was really pleased um, with with him. And then you got to see him. Um, he kind of lost Zach in the middle there. You got to see him break break contain and, and make a play play that way with his feet. Yeah, we just we just felt like we uh, we we we've seen him. We know what he is. We know that you know we're excited about him. We're really excited about him. Wanting to keep him fresh, and uh, we'll we'll reevaluate and look at next week and if, if he'll play next week. No injury there. Or anything? No injury. He's Pittsburgh kid. No, he he's you know he he was fine. Um, I explained to him. I talked to him. His running back coach Jamal talked to him, and uh, we thought it was best for the team that he just he just sat that sat that one out. He had a, he had a couple big runs against Pittsburgh last year, right? Yeah. So that his his people there in Pittsburgh saw all those big runs last year. Well, we Well, I, I know the first the first interception we were hot and, and we lost the back in the backfield. Uh, he was supposed to, he he kind of got held up and got and got uh, tripped up at the defensive end. So, you know those things happen. Those things happen. Uh, so he had to throw it on time and, and Tyree just wasn't there yet. Uh, so, you know I'm not not concerned about that. You know I the second one. Um, you know, I would like to see him hit the check down, and, and he wants that one back too. So no concern. He's been having a good camp, and um, just got to learn from mistakes and, and get better. Yeah, that that's a play right there that yeah is it's very important to our offense, and and you just want it's there's a lot of. Part. Everybody really has to do their job. That's what this game's so awesome, right? Everyone's got to do their job for it to, for it to work, and and they did, right? And and Quez made a great play. Joe made a great throw, um, and and as a matter of fact, Joe made that check. Same same thing the way we did. So I just get excited because football's exciting and football's a, a emotional game, and 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 that's what we do. That's fun. I, I I'm not going to take that part out of my game just because I'm the head coach. Well, how important was it tonight? offensive and defensive communication to be as crisp as it seemed to be in the first half. It seemed like there was no confusion. It seemed like the defensive players were in the right spot. Mm -hmm. It seemed like everybody kind of was on the same page. With no preseason, a new coaching staff, a young quarterback, and a lot of moving parts, are you pleasantly surprised? Yeah, again, like I said, that, that first half that first half, I just thought was really crisp, uh, both offensively and defensively. Again, there's going to be things to to correct, but that's what we're striving for every day, just to to have that sharpness uh, on our offense and defense. Um, and and it's the same thing. Like we can't get too down on the the bad plays that happen, and we can't get too high on the good things that happen. We just gotta, again, we just gotta play the next play, play the next game over and over and over again. Honestly, Jeff, it was felt business as usual. It really did. Uh, again, I, I've I've said this this all along. Like, what's the difference? It's just I'm adding job titles to my you know to my what I what I already do. So it just felt like business as usual. It was great communication on the offensive side of the ball. Um, as far as with Shane, myself, Kevin, Petulo, Jeff Stoutland, Jason, Michael, all, all all the way around. So it just really did feel like business as usual. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, anytime you get a guy that can run like Quez, Quez can, you know, that's that's obviously a very big threat to the defense, right? It softens them up, 
And and we've seen that, right? You guys have been at, at all the practices. You've seen him get behind the defense, make some plays on the ball. Like That's what's really impressive with Quez. He's got good, strong hands that can go up and make plays, has that speed, and can go up and make plays. So um, that's, a, that's a weapon that we're, can, we're hoping to continue to develop. Um, he got behind the defense on the one, made the, the run after a catch, and that's what you look for, a guy who can – and now you just want to see him separate in, in, in the intermediate game too, and, and then you would have saw all three. But um, – yeah, excited about his development. Aaron Moore has done a great job with him uh, of developing him, and, and and Quez has done a great job of you know just getting better every day. So uh, just look forward to correcting the mistakes uh, that he made tonight and, and growing from the good things that he did tonight. Did that, that screen something you both yeah both uh, again Joe made a great check uh, you know what they brought the the slot off the off of Quez and offensive line did a great job of getting out I mean again like I've we've run that play so many times I've been a part of that play so many times and it really takes all 11 to, to make it go so I'm I'm excited obviously you don't see that you, you don't see it live I mean it obviously worked and Quez made it work with a with a burst uh, and he's just kind of gliding and, and really outran the defense but I look forward to seeing how everybody did their job on that play so but that is a play a staple in our offense and I'm glad that we uh, were able to execute tonight Yeah, we were 0 for 8. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I felt like we, I was talking uh, to a couple of coaches after, and it, and it felt like we dropped, we had some drops on third down, and they weren't, they weren't routine catches, right? But they're, they're, Definitely the type of catches we anticipate our guys making. We work, we work those low balls, right? We work the traffic catches, and you know we we just got to go. You know, a, a little bit of you was like, good. You got to get more reps of these. Like you, you drop the ball and now go get. You know, if if you if you drop the ball here low, go work work that more. Know that what we're telling you with those with those drops, they come up. So and they still count as drops. So it just felt a little sloppy there. It felt like a little bit too on defense. We just especially in the second half, it, it you know they had they had some time back there as we all saw. Um, and then the first half, you know, I, I saw a couple times in the, that first half where you know the quarterback had to hold on to the ball because of the coverage too, and the and the defense got the got the sack. So again, just a little bit uh, too much time on defense, and then uh, some drops that I was disappointed in on offense. Yeah, you know that's what we talk about. We talk about dog mentality all the time, and that all that means is is play the next play, play the next play. You can't get too high, you know, on one play and 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 then go play the next play effectively, and you can't get too low and and vice versa and go play the next play. So, you know, again, that was one of the drops I was talking about. That low ball, I thought, you know, we got to have that. We got to we got to put it up on him a little bit more, but we also got to have that ball. Um, so it was good to see him respond because. You know, I played wide receiver, and it's just like that can get in your head. Like a drop can get in your head, and so it was great to see him respond. And he ran a great route on that bench route. Um, really, it got a lot of separation and, and made a big explosive play for us after that. So it was good to. And then, you know, the, the guy in the screen kind of fell out again. I haven't seen the tape, and I'm just I'm just some of the things I'm remembering. The guy played out into it, but he he kind of hit it pretty hard on that on that screen. So I was I was pleased that. You know, he didn't let that that drop get to him, and came out and continued to play hard. And uh, I'll see more from the tape, but I was I was impressed with that bench route he ran. You Two about more for coach. Uh, with the other coaches, is there anything you're gonna change uh, going into the next game, or do you like the way everything flowed? Yeah, I like the way things flowed. I mean, there were some things here and there where, you know. I, you know, we talked about, hey, I wish we would have done this on that. And it was right when we came in the locker room or, hey, on the call sheet, give us a little space to write here. I mean, there, there's some things that – because you're always trying to improve your process no matter what. And every, and that's that's growth, right, when you're trying to improve what you do, improve your process. So there's things that, that we'll talk about. There's a couple things that, you know, nothing major, but just like little tweaks here and there that, that will improve our process. And we'll just try to do that every time, evaluate ourselves as coaches, obviously, just like we evaluate the players and we're no different. Nick, when you said he got behind the defense, um, it looked like there was a blitz. It was picked up nicely by the offensive line. Uh, what was the 
was that throw? Was that just a, a timing issue, or was that just a... You're you talking about the one backed up? The, the one where, uh, yeah, backed up by one row two, I think it was. Oh, okay. Which was not separation on defense. Yeah, they... they was it a timing issue, or was it a bad throw? Well... You know, I, again, I got to look at the tape and and see if there was pressure up in. I know I know Pittsburgh only had ten guys on the field. They subbed in uh, late and they had no, they only had ten guys on the field there. So, um, but we got we got what we wanted on the outside with them. I'll have to look at the tape and see what happened. Um, but Quez did a good job of of uh, saving room on the sideline and, and uh, getting open.